Well, hey there, YouTube. It's Petey Two Finger, and I wanted to show you how to use a custom boot image on your Nuex MG30. When you turn the unit on, there's a splash screen that first shows up that says Nuex MG30. Well, you can replace that with the image of your choice. So I'm going to show you how you can uh, do that quickly, and also if the picture doesn't have the proper dimensions, that won't work or it might not look quite right so i'll give you a quick primer on photo editing and supply a link to some software that i use that's free that i think does the job very well so let's pop over and fire up our quick tone software and let me let me just start from the beginning so we go with our mouse over to setting and click on the gear icon and down here you see custom boot up picture this is where we're going to want to click and when you first do this it will be set to default picture so you're going to want to click right on that green dot single click with your mouse and it's going to pop over to user picture now the important part here is the dimensions so it needs to be a 800 by 480 or larger and along those same lines, if you look at the image, it should be about the same dimensions. Like here, I'm gonna pull up this picture. This is High Castle Till Orchestra. This is a really interesting band that just dropped an album. Members from bands like Mr. Bungle, Stratosphere, uh, Farmer's Market, and Secret Chiefs 3. Some really incredibly interesting music. But this image is not, it's a square. It's not the proper uh, dimensions that we're going for for a boot up image. So just to use it as an example, I'm gonna crop this picture to me what looks like about the right size. Looking at my MG30 window and looking at this photo, I'm gonna say that's about roughly good, okay? So then I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and save, which is save as maybe, and we're gonna call this MG30 image test and save that to the desktop okay now we're gonna go back to our quick tone software click on custom boot up picture and we see it's set on user picture we're gonna go import and go to that image which is MG30 test JPEG and it needs to be either a okay so it says please import a, a photo that's larger than 800 by 400 so my mistake here was that the picture I tried to install was not the proper dimensions so let me go ahead and click on this test image and it's going to open it up in Irfan view which I will give you a link in the description, but any self-respecting editing software will do the same thing. So I'm gonna to go to image information and it's gonna tell me this image is 319 by 179 pixels, okay? It's the wrong dimensions. So I'm gonna hit okay and I'm gonna go over to edit and, or wait, it's image, resize, resample. So in here, we see it says set new size, and this is what I'm off to do. I'm gonna go and hit 800 because that's what the new X was looking to do. Now, interestingly enough, it's looking for an 800 by 480 or larger. So you see here, this would still fail. It would not work. So I'm gonna go and click, click, backspace, and hit 480, and okay. Both of those dimensions uh, came out looking good. It was 855, uh, what was it? 855 by 480. So it's it's close enough. You know, ideally, if you're really gonna be a stickler, you'd hit the exact dimension. But let's go ahead and save up. I'm gonna save over and replace the image. And now we are going to back to Quick Tone software. And here I left it conveniently open. We're going to import the image. And <clears throat> oh, look, it's okay. 
So now I centered it a little bit better, or maybe you want it more how it was. And I'm going to hit OK. And now I'm going to take a damp. Okay, uh, successfully, and now, yeah, no, we're not gonna do that again. So I'm gonna hit cancel, I'm gonna hit okay, and I'm gonna X out of this, turn my camera back on, and now, oh, I knocked the fan over again. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to work on the setup. I'm gonna power down the MG30 when I unplug the cabling. Um, I think, I think unplugging the USB cable while it's on might, might not be the smartest thing to do. But let's go ahead and turn the unit on. And there's the image. So I will leave the link to uh, the Earthfriend View software in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. And uh, as far as uh, getting info for the new XMG30, there's another guy who calls himself the pedal guy. He's actually the, uh, the new X representative. And he, he has tutorials which uh, helped me out when I first got my MG30. And just looking around on the internet, there's uh, good and bad everywhere. Um, I typically don't like watching videos where the guys do sound tests or play along. I'm looking for usually solutions to problems. So I'll try to provide uh, a little bit of that type of thing, although I'm not certainly not in competition with anybody, especially the pedal guy. I believe he may be an official Nux representative. So congratulations and hats off to that dude. Uh, he's got some really informative, uh, excellent videos over there, and I'm sure he's already demonstrated this. I thought it would be fun for me to knock out a couple of Nux New X MG30 videos. <laughs> it's been a long time for me before I noticed that it's N U and then there's a triangle and then the X. So it's actually New X. But if you're a big Three Stooges fan like me, it's a lot more fun to call it a Nux. Anyway, you guys, I hope you have a, a productive and a fantastic weekend. I know I will. My daughter's coming over tomorrow, bringing my granddaughter for a visit. So I've got to hide all my cabling and put some t-shirts over the mixers because uh, my little my little granddaughter is coming up on, on two and she likes to uh, play Sir Mix a lot when she comes over. And then I, I met this dude from Eastern Europe at a resale store. I ran into him twice. And this guy is uh, just ex an exceptional human being. He was talking about a lot of stuff, uh, issues in the world today, but it was real positive. His worldview wasn't just like complaining about the elite. Uh, really interesting young man, and he told me that he had garbage picked a guitar that needed some parts. So he's coming over too. And I've got some stuff hopefully he'll take out of here for me some some amps and some uh, a Mac so yeah that's gonna be good uh, having a new friend pop over and see my granddaughter as well so I've, I've got a great weekend we'll probably play here I think we should probably play either tonight or tomorrow it's been we haven't touched our instruments since uh, the last remote and I have this issue where my hand went completely numb which I've had since going back to Y2K. And it typically takes between a couple of weeks and a couple of months for that to, to heal up. And it's healing up. It's, it looks like it's only gonna be about another week that I'll be dealing with this. But it makes it really difficult and I try to, uh, like even editing, like a lot of mousing, is not good for that, if you wanna heal up from it. So I hope you guys have an excellent, productive, fun, and cool We can Try to stay cool. If you have a pet that you're physically able to pick up, 
and show it some physical affection. Hug your pets for Petey. That's what I always say. That's what I like you to do. Or you can give them a treat. So hug your pets. Try to stay cool. And peace.